Anzia Yazerska is one of the most well-known female Jewish American authors. She has work that ranges from personal biography on her path to success and every novel that cemented its legacy, which showcases the burdens of society and what the American dream is depicted as. Anzia Yerska was born on October 29, 1880. She was born into a large Jewish family. There is an estimated guess about her birth year, and due to traveling from her birth country, Planks, Poland, to the United States, as well as interviews from reinventing herself according to her daughter. She is the youngest of nine children. After moving to the United States in 1890, her identity went from Anzia Yerska to Harriet Mayer. The surname comes from her oldest brother's first name, who had immigrated to the United States years prior. She wanted to embrace the new life and country they were in with experience. She wanted to help her family, with her mother struggling for money and her father too caught up in constant studying, she went to a few years of school and then went on to get a job in a sweatshop factory. Her father then fought with her. Having her father set in her ways caused them to clash with one another. Having her older siblings be able to go out and find jobs and be in school while she can't, this led them to fight, having different beliefs with one another, until she eventually moved out of the apartment. After only attending two years of school while living with her parents, she then moved on to staying in a room in the Clara de Hirsch settlement house. After she forged her high school diploma, she then went on to receive a scholarship to Columbia University. After graduating from Columbia, she attended the American Academy of Fine Arts. Here, she had a range of what she could write and study about. She wrote stories about faith, European immigrants, and all the struggles women face. During her time here, she also changed her name back to Anzia Yuzerska. She married her first husband, Jacob Gordon, in 1910 and divorced right after. She couldn't bring herself to reach the physical aspect of the relationship. She then married Arnold Levitas in 1912. They fell quickly and had a daughter together, Louise. However, the marriage was rocky. My thesis is Anzia Yuzerska highlights the variety and challenges that are commonly in the limelight, and she narrows her works on everyday struggles of immigrants trying to make it day by day, finding housing, and learning new customs, all while breaking the barrier. She has many well-known stories. One of these is Bread Givers, which is one of her most famous and published in 1925. However, Wings, published in 1920, is widely popular due to its idea. The basis is the comparison of a young female Russian immigrant and a male American citizen. Wings is about a girl who came over from Russia to take care of her sick grandfather. She works as a janitor and meets a man who graduated and is a professor at his university who wants to study her and write a thesis about the area she lives in and her customs. The two get along. He teaches her how to read and write English. It shows the stereotypes and breaking barriers of what leaving behind the expectations someone once had. Shana is expected to have a man support her by a certain age in Russia. According to her, don't take pity on my years. I'm living in America, not Russia. I'm not hanging on anybody's neck to support me. In America, if a girl earns her living, she can be 50 years old and without a man, and nobody pities her. The first novel she wrote was The Free Vacation House in 1915. It shows a struggling immigrant mother in the United States who finds shelter in a vacation home by an offer only to see it's worse than her previous predicament. Like many authors at the time, 
they related it to someone in their life, this person being her own sister. One of her most famous novels and where she gained her fame was Hungry Hearts. This attracted the eyes of Samuel Goldwyn, where he turned it into a movie in 1922 after it was published in 1920. She was offered a $100,000 contract deal to be a screenwriter, but turned it down due to writer's block. She found encouragement and got back on her feet with the help of Professor John Dewey after the divorce of her first marriage and giving up custody of her daughter, Louise, to her husband and his family. He gave her pointers and offered her opinion on her stories. She was able to focus and get out of her writer's block. Inspiration on her writing is heavily influenced by what she is surrounded by. She momentarily gained fame very quickly with Hungry Hearts in its film, but if she were to take the contract deal and movie, she wouldn't flourish. She would leave what she uses to create her stories. She writes about the building she grew up in and the people she surrounds herself with and has met. The feedback of her work was interesting, as no one knew what to make of it at first. You have an author coming out and saying all these struggles and realistic happenings of what goes on for the lower class citizens and immigrants. It showed many people a new class and side of living 